Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 16th June 2018. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, a company based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit or more importantly how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we will study oil and gold. They tend to impact related stocks. When trading, we try to align our trades with the market's direction. We study the market's direction using market breadth of NASDAQ and NYSE and also the technical charts of the broad market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market, we like to align them with the industry's strength and weakness. We study that using industry scorecard and heat map. We'll do the top down analysis starting from market to sector to industry to stocks and look for potential trades for the coming week and we may also review some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum through the videos or social network pages that was the last slide of the presentation let's move to live system we begin our commodity study with oil, we are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop chart and daily hop on chart. Together, we call this at a glance template because it tells us whether there is a low risk entry opportunity at the right edge of the chart in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, oil is dropping sharply, it is now down bearish four successive weeks with magenta colored candles. In the daily chart, it dropped after displaying a bearish headwind at the very top. After hitting lower boundary and going below that, it tried to recover. On Thursday, came precisely to the yellow direction line and on Friday, opened lower and fell sharply after that. In the last market roundup, I had discussed that if US oil recovers somewhat to the value area and goes down, giving a magenta color candle, that would give us a trend following short trade opportunity. The magenta color candle came on Friday, however, by the end of the day, it was already below lower boundary lines. It closed below the trend line support, the memory trend line support, therefore it is bearish. However, entering a short trade at the end of Friday may be a little too late. Those who were using real time chart could identify the trend following short trade opportunity using real time sonar and could take the trade near the beginning of the day. Let's see using real time fine tune chart if such a low risk entry opportunity was there on Friday. This is the real time fine tune chart using 5 minute interval. We have a technique to enter a short trade using real time chart that is early range breakout technique. These early range lines are formed soon after market open. 
we make our directional decision based on weekly and daily charts in this case for oil uso we decided to take only short trades we would wait for the early ranges to be formed and on this candle as price closed below the early range low we could take a short trade placing stop just above early range high our risk was this distance and by the time price came to this level the risk distance was covered day traders could book at least partial profit and put trailing stop in such a way that the entire trade was risk free from that time onward by the end of the day it dropped more day traders could close the entire position and swing traders could book partial profit because it was already at lower boundary and could hold partial position with trailing stop this real time early range breakout technique allowed one to take a very low risk short trade in oil that we were anticipating ahead of time we are looking at gold using the weekly and daily charts in the weekly chart gold was dropping for several weeks the weekly candle colors were magenta one week ago the candle color and shape both were indecisive this week it tried to go up little bit indicated by the upper tail and then dropped sharply in the daily chart few weeks ago gold dropped with a gap down displayed a bullish possible reversal signal recovered little bit to the value area and since then it was moving inside a narrow range inside a triangle pattern bound by resistance trend line at the top and support trend line at the bottom on friday it opened below the memory support line that was a gap down day therefore one could start looking for a gap trade entry opportunity it could be either long or short direction at the same time q sonar found gold as a possible breakout trade opportunity in the short direction keep in in view these two factors the possibility of a gap trade opportunity and a breakout down trade opportunity one could look for a short day trade using real time fine tune chart let's see if real time chart indeed gave us a low risk entry opportunity if the entry opportunity was there but it was not low risk then we would not take it and whether it was low risk or not could be decided by the range of the early range lines let's have a look at that this is gold etf gld using fine tune 5 minute chart on friday price opened with gap down soon after that early range high and early range low lines formed we were going to look for only short trade opportunity and that opportunity came on this yellow candle the stop was narrow stop would be just above early range high by the time price came to this pause pivot line more than risk distance was covered at least partial profit could be booked and partial position could be held with trailing stop both for gold as well as for oil there were no low risk entry opportunity using daily chart however anticipating the trade and using real time fine tune charts one could take very low risk and profitable day trade entries every week we study market breadth using nasdaq composite index 
and NYSC composite index both using weekly charts because this study is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval this is to be used more for longer term entry decisions not for swing trading so much and certainly not for day trading NASDAQ continues to outperform NYSE this week NASDAQ made another new all-time high last week itself it was overbought this week it became more overbought shown by the green dot on top of the candle last week in the weekly market roundup we discussed that NASDAQ price was going up making new all-time high however the new high low was not able to make new high it made much shallower high that was a bearish divergence between NASDAQ composite index and NASDAQ new high low indicator that divergence increased this week NASDAQ went up further however the new high low came down the other two internals advanced decline and up down volume also went down for NASDAQ that shows clear weakness under the hood the index went up however all the three internals went down and two of them advanced decline and up down volume closed in the negative showing that the up move of the index was due to a few large cap stocks in total more stocks declined than went up and the declining stops fell with larger volume that was for nasdaq what about nyse NYSE was moving sideways in last market roundup I discussed that though NYSE had a bullish shape and bullish color candle it couldn't go above the high made three months ago since three months on a closing basis it couldn't make a new high and this week though the candle color remains bullish on a closing basis it drop what about the nysc internals they all decline new high low is almost at zero and the other two internals closed below zero looking at nasdaq and nysc together along with the internals based on the data we have to conclude that over longer term weekly interval both the indices are in uptrend they will remain in uptrend until the memory trend line supports are broken there is clear divergence between nasdaq price and nasdaq new high low in this environment it may be better not to keep on buying new positions especially in stocks that are already fundamentally overvalued or technically overbought let's see if the same conclusion holds when we study the market ETFs SPY using at a glance template on a closing basis SPY drop However, the weekly candle color is still bullish and the shape is indecisive. In the daily chart, SPY was already at upper boundary line. For a few days, it moved sideways. On Friday, it opened with a gap down. However, recovered significantly. If we look at the daily activity pattern looking inside from the right edge we see many of the high volume days are actually down days the up days are with significantly less volume 
the up days are shown by green activity bar and down days are shown by red activity bar. The activity pattern in the daily chart for SPY is not bullish. It is showing more weakness than is clear from the price move. QQQ using at a glance template just like NASDAQ made a new all time high, QQQ also made a new all time high. Activity continues to be muted in the weekly chart. In the daily chart, it is going up strongly. The memory trend lines are providing excellent support. On Friday, it displayed a possible reversal signal, the bearish headwind signal. However, the candle shape is very indecisive and price is resting above multiple support trend line. Therefore, we are not going to think of taking any short trade. If price comes down and closes below these support trend lines, then we may look for short opportunity either in QQQ or maybe in another weaker broad market ETF, not QQQ, maybe in DIA or in SPY or in some of the underlying stocks. Like in case of SPY, QQQ activity pattern also shows weakness. The high volume days are mostly down days, not up days. That is in contrast to the very bullish picture shown by the price move. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA in the weekly chart on a closing basis it dropped. However, the candle color remained bullish cyan. In the daily chart, it was near upper boundary. This week it dropped. On Friday, it had a big gap down open. However, recovered substantially. Again, the volume pattern in the daily chart is showing weakness that is not visible from the price move. IWM like QQQ it had been very strong ETF this week again it made another new all-time high activity in the weekly chart is muted in the daily chart price is strongly going up price is supported by memory trend line similar to what we saw in QQQ this week mostly it moved sideways iwm activity pattern is more bullish than all the other three broad etfs the broad etf study shows that price is either moving up or sideways the weekly candle colors are all bullish therefore we are not going to take any short trade right now price is mostly at or near upper boundary therefore it may be too late to look for long opportunity in any of these ETFs activity pattern is in general bearish except for IW if we combine the market internals with market ETF study then we see that overall market is remaining bullish that is in terms of price move however if we look at internals that is more bearish than what price move is showing and the volume pattern is also more bearish than what price move is showing what to do under such situations we may continue to take low risk long opportunities in stocks that are not already overvalued or overbought and if some industry is starting to go down then we may look for low risk short opportunity in them let's look at the sector and industry analysis 
and try to identify such opportunity. We are studying 11 sectors across 4 weeks. The red bar represents performance of this week, green bar performance of 1 week prior to the red bar and yellow bar performance of 2 weeks prior to the green bar. Together they give us 4 weeks of performance. Any bar coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up and any bar coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. This week 6 sectors gained and 5 went down. This shows a balanced picture of the market. Compared to last week when 9 sectors had gone up, this week's performance is muted. Information technology continues to be strong. All the 3 review period bars are to the right of the zero line and they went up by significant percentages. However, if we look at dashboard, we will see that some smaller cap stocks are going up sharply and some of these stocks have very poor fundamentals. You may be careful about taking long positions in such stocks. If the market reverses, they have poor fundamentals, they may drop sharply. And several of these stocks are at 52 week high or at all time high with poor fundamentals, those are not the best investment opportunity. Consumer discretionary continues to be strong. It is up for all the three review periods. Again with significant percentages. However, later when we study decelerating industries, we will see several consumer discretionary industries decelerated. That is usually a warning sign at least in those specific industries. Keeping that in mind you may be cautious about new long positions in consumer discretion. Telecom and consumer staples were lagging for a long time. In the last market roundup I mentioned that you could start watching out for their reversals. They were starting to go up and we could identify that from the sector and industry scorecard and heat maps. They continued to strengthen this week and you could probably take some very low risk, profitable, long opportunities in fundamentally strong stocks in these sectors just as the stocks as well as the industries were starting to go up. Let's look at sector performance from QH and also look at some of the dashboard stocks specifically ZUO and DBX. This is QH. We use this tool for top down analysis and now we can also use it for kind of bottom up analysis starting from stocks and then analyzing its peer groups further looking up into its industry and then sector. Now we have implemented this pause and play buttons that saves processing power. Let's look at the sector panel first. Whenever we open QH it analyzes all the sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days, 5 days, 2 days and 1 day periods. For all the periods we can double click on the column header to sort. It assigns a low score to the worst performing sector, high score to the best performing sector and also applies a heat map, magenta to the weakest one and cyan to the strongest one. That gives us a scorecard and heat map that instantly shows us last week the sectors that were strong were Infotech, Healthcare and Telecom. Last week's performance is displayed over the 5 days period column. And the weakest sectors were Energy, Financials and Materials. 
it also shows us that telecom which was weak earlier more magenta is now becoming stronger and energy that was strong for a long time cyan earlier has become weak and in fact the worst performing sector at present other than the sector scorecard and heat map and the industry scorecard and heat map now we also have insight from the dashboard stock the dashboard shows the best performing and the worst performing stocks across multiple dimensions at the top we have best and worst performing stocks if we scroll down we can find the stocks best performing stocks which are going up with volume pressure and worst performing stocks which are going down with volume pressure because these groups of stocks are moving with high volume pressure they may be used for breakout trade entry techniques dashboard also shows us what are the best performing stocks with optimal valuation and worst performing stocks that are already overvalued these two categories will allow us to take long trades in value stocks probably just as they are starting to move up from a low price point as well as take short trades in overvalued stocks as they are starting to drop probably from the very top finally we have the best performing growth stocks growth stocks tend to go up sharply when they start their up move and they also drop sharply if they start their down move the best performing and worst performing growth stocks may be used to enter trades both in long and short direction usually these stocks will move very fast in either direction let us look at the best performing stocks of friday these are the 10 best performing stocks of friday you can see several of them are in biotech and two stocks are in information technology one is Zora ZUO and one is Dropbox DBX. Seeing that they were going up sharply, many novice traders might be lured into buying these stocks. Zora went up by 10.5%, Dropbox went up by 9.6%. However, Q traders will do a fundamental check before taking a trade. And now doing a fundamental and peer analysis on the dashboard stocks is as simple as clicking the magnifying glass. The moment we click the magnifying glass, all of the stocks peers are brought into the stock panel and you can see it can do the peer analysis almost instantaneously. There is no lag at all. The same will happen in real time as well. If you are using QEdge during market hours, the peer analysis will be retrieved instantaneously because in this new release, the system is caching a lot of data. While at the same time keeping in constant touch with Thomson Reuters icon so that any price change or other changes are reflected regularly from the color coding we can see that valuation primary score is in magenta color that instantly tells us that zoo is overvalued looking at that we will be careful before taking a new long position we could still take it however we have to understand that the stock is already overvalued Let's come back to dashboard and now do a peer analysis on Dropbox. Again, place cursor anywhere on the Dropbox row. Click on the 
here analysis button the magnifying glass instantly all of dropbox peers are brought into the stock panel and the dropbox row is highlighted dropbox is medium value we can see that from the yellow color not only on friday throughout the week i observe that smaller cap stocks with not so strong fundamentals were going up sharply and many of them were in information technology sector that doesn't give enough confidence on the strength of the market if the stocks were fundamentally strong and they were going up strongly then we could interpret that as bigger players buying into the stocks that doesn't seem to be the case how to get the dashboard statistics you can click on this dashboard analytics button the human head with moving cogs inside the head <laughs> that button and that will take a few seconds go through the entire data set of thousands of stocks and collect the dashboard statistics and present to you and then you can look at them and do APR analysis with the click of a mouse. Also remember when QH did the peer analysis for Dropbox for example, it didn't only do a stocks fundamental analysis but it also collected the industry and sector data. So if we go to industry panel it is now going to show the industry for Dropbox and we can see that generally Dropbox industry is pretty strong. What about its sector? Its sector is also very strong until 5 days period over 2 days and 1 day period it has declined in strength. The score has gone down. That may be a sign of caution however if somebody is holding profitable long position in infotech sector there is no need to exit the position one may apply trailing stop to protect profit let's refresh the sector data by clicking the refresh button let's sort over five days period utilities this is one sector that was weak earlier but gained in score and if we look at the pace five days column it shows that this is the sector that accelerated most pace column five days period shows up in cyan color if the acceleration is high utilities as the best acceleration score whereas if you look at consumer discretionary Consumer discretionary was very strong, however, it is the most decelerating sector right now. That is a warning sign, that's why I mentioned it may be wiser to apply trailing stop in existing long positions. Consumer staples and telecom, they were more magenta earlier, weaker, and now they are turning cyan. Looking at this heat map, we can almost always identify the turn arounds of sectors. And if we use the industry scorecard and heat map, we can do the same at industry level as well. Let's look at the industry level analysis. By the way, this drill down from dashboard, isn't it fantastic? <laughs> I started to use the beta version and I was loving it. And I will later on go through some of the other dashboard categories and I will show how in real time we could get early warning of what is going to happen and take some very nice trades both for short term swing trading as well as long term. We are looking at the best performing industries of this week. Seven of the top 10 best performers are in consumer discretionary sector the sector continued to be strong this week 
However, it is decelerating. We will see that from decelerating industries later. The seven consumer discretionary sectors in this list are broadcasting, home furnishing retail, household appliances, motorcycle manufacturers, movies, entertainment, consumer electronics, and computer and electronics retail. In the healthcare distributors industry, we could identify a long trade in ACET that was a trend following plus breakout trade setup that came on 5th June. The stock is still optimally valued. The stock has gone up by 24% since then. Let's look at the best performing industries. Look at healthcare distributors, drill down to ACET and look at the trade opportunity that came on 5th June. In QH, to identify the best performing industries, we can sort over 5 days column by double clicking. The best performing industries come to the top, their scores are in cyan color. Healthcare distributors is of special interest because it was weak for a long time. Therefore, if we can get a long entry opportunity that may be a swing long entry opportunity as well as a possible long term investment opportunity. I am always looking for such transitions. From magenta to cyan or cyan to magenta. We could drill down into the underlying stocks by clicking the drill down button and instantly the industry stocks are displayed in the stock panel. ACET is a stock that is optimally valued. It went up by 10.7% this week. Could we take a long trade? Before the move happened, let's look at the chart. This is ACET using at a glance template. The stock dropped significantly as the industry was also lagging at the same time. Then it stabilized in the weekly chart. The candle colors changed from magenta bearish to yellow neutral and then to cyan bullish color at the right last week had a bullish shape as well as bullish color candle and this week it went up further activity pattern in the weekly chart was showing strength from this week itself in the daily chart after this huge gap down move it was forming a nice space gradually going up and on this cyan color candle, we could take a trend following long trade that was also a breakout trade opportunity. Price closed above this watermark resistance level and it was accompanied by heavy volume. We could take a long trade at the close of this day, put stop just below recent low, and since that entry. On a closing basis, it has gone up by a huge percentage. We could take this trade by keeping an eye on the industry scorecard and heat map. As the healthcare distributors industry was changing color from magenta to cyan, we could drill down into the stocks, find ACET as of optimal value, and then confidently take the go with flow trend following as well as breakout trade option. In renewable electricity, I had identified a trade setup in PEGI, trend following long opportunity on 12th June. I had shared that idea in a 360 degrees analysis video. Where can you see the videos? You could find them from the YouTube channel. Or you could find them from the right side bar on our home page. That's 360 degrees analysis trades. One of them discussed PEGI. Let's look at the renewable electricity industry, drill down to PEGI and look at its technical charts. Renewable electricity, one of the best performing industries and again of special interest to me because it was weak earlier. Let's do a peer analysis. 
and now if you click the drill down button it will find all the peers and automatically take our view to the stock panel instantly from color coding we can see that pegi is still optimally valued it has gone up by 5.9 percent this week let's look at its technical chart in the weekly chart peggy was already creating a base gradually starting to go up last week's candle shape was indecisive but color was bullish cyan that allowed us to take a long trade if the daily gave us a cyan color candle that came on this tuesday it had higher low and price was starting to go up so we could take a trend following long trade at the close of that candle putting stop just below recent low our initial profit target would be upper boundary lines by friday that was hit as the weekly is very strong daily is also strong stock is fundamentally optimally valued industry is one of the best performers there is no reason to exit full position partial position may be held and partial profit could be good another easy trade that we could take using top down analysis starting from best performing industries looking at stocks fundamentals and then looking at technical chart identifying a very low risk entry option in motorcycle manufacturers we had discussed about hog harley davidson in multiple earlier market roundups we were keeping an eye on the stock for suitable long entry opportunity we saw the stock was not fundamentally best valued it was in the middle let's look at the technical charts to see how it gave us a long entry opportunity on 12 june harley davidson for several weeks we had been discussing this stock it was starting to create a base last week displayed the possible reversal signal beautiful isn't it came at the very bottom and this week it went up sharply in the daily chart we had a cyan color candle on this day price was still below the watermark resistance level therefore we might not take a long trade at the close of this candle after that price dipped slightly then went up and on this day decisively closed above the watermark resistance levels and price was also above the yellow direction line at the same time because it was a case of a stock turning around from down move to up move it was all right to take a long trade at the close of this candle though price was relatively close to the upper boundary lines in case of a stock turning around from downtrend to uptrend it is allowed to take a trend following long trade even if price comes close to the upper boundary line so we could take a long trade at this level put stop just below recent low and by friday's high price point it already covered more than the risk distance at least partial profit could be booked the price move is pretty bullish the industry is one of the strongest this week therefore there would not be any reason to exit full position again partial position could be held because we were discussing hog over several weeks we would be ready to take the trade when the signal came and we would not have to second guess ourselves in healthcare distributors we saw a profitable trade opportunity in aceet and now you could also keep an eye on pdco for a possible trend following long trade and omi for a possible range breakout trade 
both are optimally valued. Let's have a look at healthcare distributors once again and drill down to these stocks. Healthcare distributors. Let's drill down. PDCO and OMI. Both are optimally valued. Fan color, primary valuation scores. Let's look at their charts. In the weekly, PDCO has turned cyan for many weeks now. After trying to go up, it declined again, came to the watermark support level, created a false downside breakout and now went up for two weeks. In the daily chart, it has recovered from the low, came to the yellow direction line and then dipped a little bit again. Next week, if it goes up, gives us a cyan color candle in the daily chart. Then we will be able to take a trend following long trend. I think by that time price will close above the yellow direction line as well. Weekly is already cyan. So that allows us to take a trend following going for long trade entry. OMI, this was the other stock in health distributors industry. Creating a very nice base in the weekly chart had displayed the possible reversal signal multiple times. Gradually going up, price is nicely supported by memory trend lines, multiple of them in the weekly chart. In the daily, it is creating the base, it is inside narrow range in a triangle pattern as well, bound by resistance memory and support memory. Friday's activity was bullish and high. If next week it goes up and breaks above the memory trend line and watermark resistance lines, then it may give us a low risk breakout trade opportunity. We could identify several long trade opportunities from the best performing industries. Some of the trades we could take last week. We could be ready for them using top down analysis and some of the trades may be coming soon in PDCO and OMI. Let's look at the worst performing industries. These are the 10 worst performing industries of this week. Three of the worst performers are in material sector. They are forest products. Diversified metals and mining and copper. While doing sector analysis, we saw that energy is the weakest sector at present and energy industry, integrated oil and gas, is one of the worst performers. MPC gave a box short trade setup on 5th June at a level where Barry Shedwin had displayed earlier. That shot at double top ended up being a very profitable trade. MPC is medium valued and has negative recent quarters earning growth. Therefore, fundamentally there were factors that allowed us to take the short trade. The sector was very weak. The industry is one of the worst performing industries. Therefore, when the technical setup came, we could confidently take the short trade. This is Marathon Petroleum MPC using at a glance template. Earlier, it tried to go up and dropped sharply during earnings. Then it tried to go up to the same price level again, hit the exact same watermark resistance and then for two successive weeks it dropped. While it was creating a top earlier, at that time during the earnings, just before earnings, it displayed the possible reversal signal. Just after that, it dropped heavily. Gradually, price tried to go up, hit the same price level where the bearish headwind came earlier. And I have shared this many times earlier. If a bearish headwind is able to precede a price drop, then when price comes back to the same level, 
more selling may be left and price is more likely to drop again. We had a bear release signal on this yellow candle. Price was at a double top at a level of bearish headwind. One could take a short trade at the close of this candle put stop just above recent high. By this Friday price has dropped significantly covering much more than this distance. The price pattern is pretty bearish. The industry is one of the worst performers. Therefore one could book partial profit and try to let profit run on remaining position. I mentioned we could use QA for kind of bottom up analysis as well. Let's do that for MPC. Let's refresh the stocks in the stock panel. Look for MPC. And now click the peer analysis button to do a peer analysis as well as industry and sector. MPC is a stock that has medium valuation. Valuation primary score is in yellow color. And here we can see the recent quarter earnings growth is negative. What about its industry? Doing the peer analysis also pointed to its specific industry. It is oil and gas refining and marketing. That was very strong earlier, cyan color and nicely declined in score. The weakness is shown by the magenta color. And peer analysis also filtered for the sector. The sector is very weak now, the weakest one in the sector. In this manner, we could do a bottom up analysis also starting from a stock. MPC, it was my mistake, MPC should be part of oil and gas refining and marketing not integrated oil and gas. Apparel retail belongs to consumer discretionary. The sector is very strong. However, it decelerated and we have this industry that came into the worst performing list. In this industry, apparel retail industry, TLRD, displayed bearish headwind, the possible reversal signal in both weekly and daily using that and subsequent daily traffic light candle signal. The candle color turned magenta in the daily chart. One could at minimum book or protect profit in existing long position and using a bearish headwind short trade setup could take a hugely profitable swing short trade on 22nd May. Let's look at QH, look at the industry stock fundamental and then look at its technical charts to see how one could easily decide to protect profit and even take a short trade. Apparel retail instantly from color coding we know. It was very strong earlier and very sharply dropped in score. Became one of the worst performers and from the pace column we see that it decelerated heavily as well. Let's do a peer analysis. TLRT. The stock is not weak in terms of fundamentals. It is optimally valued at least after the price drop. It dropped 22% in this week. Now QH shows the price moves across 5 days two days and one day in the vital panel itself. So it dropped heavily. After that drop, it is optimally valued. I am not sure whether it was optimally valued before the drop. Earnings growth is also positive in the recent quarter. So fundamentally, it is not weak. If somebody was going to take the short trade, that would be taken as a technical trade only, not as a Q360 degree trade where fundamentals and technicals were aligned. However, technicals and industry's weakness would be aligned if somebody took the shot. This is TLRD. It displayed a bearish headwind in the weekly chart at the very top. Amazing, isn't it? And the same bearish headwind 
was displayed in the daily chart as well at the very top. At the close of this day's candle, I checked it met all the conditions of the unambiguous checklist for headwind short trade setup. One could take a short trade at the close of this day, put stop above recent high, and as price dropped, came close to the yellow direction line more than risk distance was covered so at least partial profit could be booked then price went up again and dropped during the earnings there was no magenta color candle before the earnings gap down open therefore we would not be able to benefit from this huge gap down however we could already short well ahead of others using the unique reversal trade setup. Fundamentally the stock was strong so at minimum if somebody didn't want to short it when the bearish headwind setup was there one would at least protect profit using trailing stock. Trailing stock will be hit somewhere at this price point thereby protecting the position from this huge drop after earnings. There are three material sector industries in the worst performing list for its products, revenue metals, and mining and copper. And in copper industry, SCCO is fundamentally overvalued, has negative yearly earnings growth. It gave a trend following swing short trade setup on 25th May. And again on 13th June, both of which turned out to be profitable trades, hitting profit targets in one and two trading days respectively. Copper, this industry was strong earlier, cyan and now magenta weak. Let's drill down into its stocks. SCCO, instantly we can see it is poorly valued. Let's look at its charts. This is yet another case where Q systems displayed bearish headwind at the very top on this weekly candle as well as this weekly candle. Since then price couldn't go up, it fell, tried to recover one week ago and this week dropped again. In the daily chart the stock was in clear downtrend therefore you would look for magenta color candles for swing short opportunities. This magenta color candle was already too close to the lower boundary so we are not going to take a short trade there. This magenta candle shape was not bearish the same was true for this magenta color candle. We had a bearish shape candle on this magenta color candle we could take a shot at the close of that day and next day it hit lower boundary we could book profit. Then price tried to recover, dropped again, gave us a magenta color candle and that could be another short entry opportunity. On Friday price hit the support memory trend line, profit could be booked at that point. So this short entry gave us profit target within one trading day and this short entry gave us profit target in two trading days. The stock was overvalued, is still overvalued. The industry was weakening very fast and the stock had low risk entry opportunities. Those were 360 degree trades that we could take easily department stores this is one of the worst performers the score dropped heavily that shows that it must have decelerated as well we can check it out momentarily from QH I drilled down into the stocks and saw that these three stocks JW N K S S and M are actually optimally valued. They dropped as the industry dropped but are at some kind of support level. 
if it goes up from here it may in fact give us low risk by opportunities in stocks that are optimally valued if i am remembering it correctly over 5 days department stores is one of the worst performers however on friday it accelerated heavily that is another factor that led me to conclude that we may start looking for swing long opportunities in this optimal valuation stocks let's look at the industry scorecard drill down to the stocks and look at their charts department stores it was strong for a long time this week it is one of the worst performers and as i anticipated it decelerated it is actually the most decelerating industry the pace score is in magenta color and score is 1 however if i open up the recent days performance we can see on friday it gained score heavily turned cyan so it is now one of the strongest industries over one day period what about acceleration deceleration columns if we open up the pace columns we can see department stores decelerated over five days period however regain strength accelerated heavily over one day period on friday let's drill down into its stocks a single click will bring us to the stocks peer analysis and from the color coding we can instantly see jwn kss and m all are optimally valued all these three stocks also have recent quarter earnings growth M has the biggest earnings growth 100% followed by KSS 64% and then JWN 18%. So fundamentally there are enough reasons to look for long trades in this stock. JWN, KSS and M. Let's look at their technical charts. JWN it went up and then this week it came down however the candle color has remained cyan these are nice opportunities to take a swing long entry because if daily gives us a cyan color candle on monday that will mean all the conditions of a trend following go through long trade setup it will continue to remain in uptrend so we will have a very low risk entry opportunity in jwn next week if the stock continues to go up again kss is a stock that declined this week however the weekly candle color is remaining cyan daily pull back next week if it goes up gives us a cyan color candle that may be a low risk swing long entry opportunity price will be at or near upper boundary at that time however it has already made a high point that is significantly above upper boundary therefore if we have a cyan color candle closing around say 76 that will allow us in this case to take a trend following long trade normally we don't take a go with flow trend following long trade when price is already at upper boundary however this is a special case where the last peak was significantly above the upper boundary level so it is okay to take a low risk entry at around 76 price level if the cyan color candle comes m messes yet another stock where price dropped this week but the weekly candle color remains cyan therefore if price goes up in the daily chart next week gives us a sand color candle that will meet all the requirements of a trend following long trade this is yet another case where we are okay to take a long even if price is close to the upper boundary because the previous high was significantly above upper boundary that will still give us a low risk entry with acceptable reward risk ratio 
from the wash performing industries we could identify several short opportunities mpc was one of them scco was one of them and those could be taken very confidently because industries weakness stocks fundamental weakness and technical weakness were all aligned at the same time looking at deceleration at weekly interval however acceleration on friday we now can be ready to look for low risk buy opportunities in jwn kss and m every week we also study the accelerating industries because they tend to be some of the best performers in subsequent weeks three of the accelerating industries are in utility sector we saw earlier at a sector level utilities is the most accelerating sector at industry level gas utilities multi utilities and electric utilities accelerated if you have short position in any of these industries you may protect profit using trailing stop book profit and also may start looking for potential longs hotel resorts and cruise lines accelerated rcl is optimally valued and it gave a long opportunity at double bottom after falls downside breakout on 13th june let's do a top down analysis to see how you could easily take this long opportunity in qh to get the accelerating industries we can sort over five days period paste column the accelerating industries come with science score hotel resort and quiz lines is bullish now cyan color over five days period and it accelerated cyan color over past five days period let's drill down into the stocks rcl is a stock that is optimally valued rcl closed last week with a long lower tail the body was solid so the shape was mixed this week it opened very near the watermark support level and went up sharply in the daily chart miraculously again it displayed the bullish headwind possible reversal signal at the very bottom from there price went up enough to give us a profitable swing long opportunity then price went down again came below the watermark support and recovered creating a false downside breakout this candle turned cyan however closed just below the watermark support therefore we were not going to take any long trade on this candle and next day price opened above the watermark support level using real time chart we could take a long trade somewhere at the lower end of this candle put stop below recent low if you wanted to give a little bit more leeway you could put the stop below this low as well at this price level by friday price has gone up enough to cover the risk resistance at least partial profit could be booked the industry accelerated the weekly bar is very bullish weekly activity was very high so in this case we would not like to book full profit because this trade may end up being a longer term investment giving us huge profit we always try to let profit run under those circumstances when fundamentally we can see strength this stock is optimally valued industry is one of the most accelerating industries technically it is very strong now we have no reason to book full profit we certainly can try to let profit run home entertainment software another industry that accelerated in it ea is optimally valued 
and it gave a trend following long setup on 1st June. Home entertainment, it accelerated. We can see that from the cyan color base score. Let's drill down. Instantly, we can see EA is optimally valued. Also has positive recent quarter earnings growth here and has positive yearly earnings growth over one year, two year, three year periods. Many reasons to look for a long trade in EA industry also accelerated. Let's look at its technical charts. EA was already going up for several weeks. This was earnings day when it went up sharply closed above the watermark resistance and then for several days moved sideways in a narrow range. On this candle, it broke out of that narrow range with a cyan colored candle. We could take a long trade at the close of this day, put stop below the recent low. Then price went up sharply. By Friday, it covered more than risk distance, so at least partial profit could be booked. The candle chart in the weekly is very bullish. Industry accelerated. The stock is still optimally valued, so we would like to try to let profit run on partial position while booking profit on partial position. That was the accelerating industries. We could take profitable long trades in RCL as well as EA. Both were optimally valued and they went up after giving clear signal on technical charts. Let's study the decelerating industries. Seven of the most decelerating industries are in consumer discretionary. The sector also decelerated consumer discretionary as a sector, it is the most decelerating sector. At industry level, seven of the most decelerating industries are in consumer discretionary. These are department stores. Apparel retail, apparel accessories, luxury goods, specialty stores, specialized consumer services, home furnishing, home improvement, retail. Lot of them. Broad based deceleration is a signal to be cautious. If you are holding long position in any of these industries, better to book profit or at least protect profit using trailing stock. You may also start to look for low risk short opportunities. Those were the regular topics. Let's go back to dashboard and try to find some maybe optimal valuation stocks that are starting to go up. This is the list of the optimally valued stocks that went up sharply on Friday. GameStop is a stock that went up on Friday by 8.6%. I was already following GameStop. It was optimally valued. When a stock is optimally valued and the industry is strong or strengthening, I am already starting to look for long position. Let's drill down into the PR group, clicking the magnifying glass. It will also identify the industry and sector at the same time. Instantly, we can see that GME is optimally valued. What about its industry? Computer and electronics retail was weak earlier, somewhat magenta, now nicely turning into strength, cyan color. What about the sector? The sector is generally bullish, scoring 8 out of total 11 sectors. It decelerated a bit at the sector level. However, this particular industry, computer and electronics retail, is not changing from strength to weakness. Instead, it is changing from weakness to strength, from magenta to sand. That is why I always say that we are not able to look for the best setups looking at market level or sector level. 
at those levels the up moving stocks and down moving stocks tend to neutralize each other to find q360 degree trades where industry strength fundamental strength and technical strengths are aligned we have to start from the industry level or if we are doing bottom up analysis start from the stock level so we could identify gme in this case from the dashboard and see that it is fundamentally strong industry is strengthening let's look at its technical charts nice chart pattern isn't it in the weekly after large drop it was starting to create a very nice base it has created a memory trend line support also earnings was in this week price already turned cyan one week before that and for last four weeks the weekly candle colors are bullish cyan this week has a very bullish shape candle as well in the daily chart it is nicely holding on to the memory support base in this period it went up hit the upper boundary pull back and on friday went up again giving us a sand color candle that met all the checklist conditions for a trend following long trade we could identify this long opportunity in gme in many possible ways we could use q sonar real time sonar that would show gme as a possible swing long opportunity and we could probably take a long at somewhere in the middle of the price range of friday candle maybe around 13.2 13.3 that would be a bottom up identification starting with q sonar we could also identify it from the qh dashboard now by the end of the day gme closed up by 8.6% but it would start to come in this list from the beginning of the day itself and we could do a quick fundamental industry sector analysis by clicking the magnifying glass check out the technical charts and take a long in that way as well we will soon release this advanced qa and you can keep an eye on the dashboard stocks you can do many kinds of trade identification in this case we look for stocks that are optimally valued and starting to go up those are very nice opportunities not only for swing trading but those can end up being very nice long term investments and in many past market roundups we were able to identify those stocks starting from sector level drilling down to industries then drilling down to stocks now we have another easier way to identify those trade opportunities from the dashboard i think you are going to love it i am having even more fun with the dashboard now let me summarize at the market level when we studied market breadth we saw that though nasdaq went up strongly made another new all time high last week's bearish divergence between index and new high low became more pronounced this way nyc dropped though the candle color continues to be bullish the internals are bearish this way four closed below zero and all the six declined the market etf level qqq and iwm continues to be the two of the strongest etfs broad market etfs and spy and dia continues to be the weaker ones still all the weekly candles are bullish and daily are also bullish there is no short trade setup in any of them because market level is bullish it is safer to take only long trades at the stock level and which stocks to take long in we can identify that from sector industry fundamental drill down we could identify several such trades at the same time we saw that some industries declined over last few weeks 
energy industries were some of them and we could take very profitable short trades. The industries were declining, the stocks were not fundamentally strong and gave low risk short opportunity on technical charts. NPC was one of them, oil industry stock and we could also identify similar short opportunities in metal sector. In this way, looking at industry level, drilling down to fundamentals and then looking at technical charts, we can always identify swing as well as long term investment opportunities that are low risk and with higher probability of success. That is all that I wanted to share in today's session. Thanks a lot for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably.